live from the Sands Convention Center, Las Vegas, Nevada. Extracting the signal from the noise, it's The Cube, covering AWS reInvent 2015. Now your host, John Furrier. Okay, welcome back everyone. You're watching Silicon Angles The Cube. This is our flagship program where we go out to the events and extract the signal from the noise. I'm John Furrier, the founder of Silicon Angle, and we are live in Las Vegas for AWS Amazon Web Services reInvent 2015. It's our third year broadcasting live, three days of wall-to-wall -wall coverage. We're day two. Our next guest is Maureen Lonergan, Global Training and Certification Manager at Amazon Web Services. Welcome back to theCUBE. Thank you. Great to see you. Last back. year was loud. It's now it's very nice, it's quiet. A little bit mellow now because the <laughs> session's going on, yeah, but yeah, exactly. you were in the throes of the whole show. Last night, this place was jam-packed. It was heaving. Every year, it gets bigger and bigger. Every year, Andy Jassy gets up there, his smile gets bigger, <laughs> he's got a spring to his step, yeah. introducing a slew of new announcements, a tenth of the cost, just really having fun up there. But you have to clean up the mess there called training yeah. because every year they introduce new stuff that requires new training, new courseware. So the question is, one, how do you keep up? Mm -hmm. And what is going on with the skill gap? Because training and certification are super critical, certainly yeah. in the security side, but yeah. in general, people's roles are changing. Yeah, um, we, we're busy, we're very busy. Uh, we spend a lot of time with the engineering teams, um, looking at what the certain new services, I mean, as you can imagine, we iterate so quickly, every time they change something, it changes a course, a lab. Um, so the organization's growing and, and we're innovating along with it with new courses and labs um, and certification programs to support our customers as they kind of go on the journey of cloud. Um, as far as the skills gap, it's, it's big and it is growing bigger. Every, it seems like we can't put enough trainers out in the field or enough uh, right. courses out, um, kind of self-service courses to meet the demand, but we are starting, we you know, trained a lot of people and certified tens of thousands of, of, of people, yeah. so it's getting better. It's funny, it was a, a comment on Twitter during Andy Jassy's keynote, it was kind of comical, but it kind of highlights the point. The tweet was, Andy must own the North Pole because he's got a lot of elves working on, you know, <laughs> yeah. building new stuff. Yeah. So how many people do you have on your team? Because the courseware must be a huge challenge because you have to get stuff out there, online, all formats, relevant, cutting edge, because jobs are on the line, people's jobs, matter, that's going to impact the rollout, deployment, so it's a flywheel that you're a part of. Yeah. What's the team we look have, like, what's the emphasis? It's a, it's a very large team and um, we have agile development methodology in our courseware development team, so <laughs> we do we update our courses every two to three weeks. Um, we have a team that Shipping some good product, yeah, shipping code, exactly. shipping Basically what training. we do, it's right alongside engineering. Um, but right, so what's the new releases? Security courses. We just released uh, last week two security courses. Uh, AWS Security Fundamentals um, really talks about um, AWS security practices, um, shared responsibility model, shared security responsibility model. It's free and available for everyone, and really anybody in it that's interested in cloud uh, would be interested in this class and understanding how we do that. And then we have a technical class. So, Maureen, as well. take me through the progression of a, of a, a new, I'll, call, I'll say, student or yeah. person through um, the levels of growth, how fast, uh, and also what's the community like uh, culturally uh, with your users? Um, it, so we have um, a lot of different, and people can self-serve, like if you're very new to AWS, we've got these intro, our terminology is very different than the industry, so we have five and six minute little modules that you can take and learn about what EC2 is or S3, uh, along with labs, and then, um, Usually everyone starts with AWS Essentials and then depending on their role, whether they're an architect or into DevOps, they kind of split the track and, and go grow that way. Um, the community's been great. We have a new LinkedIn community for all of our certified professionals and we're seeing a lot of traction with that. At this event, uh, we're recognizing certified individuals. I think we have over almost 2,000 at this event, which is a large percentage of the population. So um, we wanted to make sure that they, uh, we're recognized, we've got a lounge, we've got a party for them tomorrow night, so it's great. I was at the reception that the they had for the analysts on Tuesday night, yeah. and I met a guy who's certified in every single 
product. Yep. How rare is that? I mean, it seems like a rare breed, but I mean, this guy was impressive. Yeah, there's uh, there's only you 20 in the name. world, so I think so so far. <laughs> but yeah, there's five certifications out there, and uh, I think there's 20 20 that have achieved that so far. So but that's pretty rare. A lot so more, yeah. That's like that Mount Everest of. Yeah, uh, I think it's the guys that are early adopters want to get it all. We've got a great T-shirt at this event that has you know I was AW. It has all their certifications like a rock and roll T-shirt. So it's, <laughs> it's like I've been all yeah. the concerts, yeah. you know. So what's new? Give us the, give the update on the customer side, because the customers at the end of the day are the ones where the traction is. Uh, Amazon has a huge enterprise presence now. Yep. You're seeing some of the things there that are going to be heavy duty training requirements, like the compliance stuff, a lot of new touch points between yep. Redshift and some of the streaming stuff. You got Internet of Things around the corner. We're expecting to hear a huge announcement tomorrow around that, not yep. yet clear what that is, <laughs> um, although I have a pretty good inclination. <laughs> we, uh, we are working very closely with enterprise. In, so, in some enterprises, we actually have uh, permanently staffed instructors trying to train and um, train all of their staff. Uh, we've got some really cool boot camps that we're going to be releasing. We had one uh, delivered on Monday, Tuesday, and it was around the Internet of Things. So I'm sure that'll get updated after tomorrow as well. But so talk about security operations. What kind of training do you have there? Um, we just launched a new three-day course, technical course, um, and it's available around the globe in 40 countries right now. So we, we literally launched it last week. So Lynn was on earlier. She's um, um, uh, a different consultant, but she's yep. a hero, yep. which is a status. Yep. I'd like you to explain Great in, in, woman. in your yep. work. She's phenomenal. Yeah. I just love what she's got a little IoT ring. <laughs> I got my IoT watch, <laughs> my Apple watch. Yep. Uh, but she's phenomenal. She's also a practitioner yep. and a trainer. But one of the things we were talking about was the, teaching the kids to code one of her nonprofits that she's involved in, which kind of brings up the whole STEM thing, right? Yeah. So like, there's a huge onboarding of new talent yep. that are really taken to the cloud like it's nobody's business. Yep. That's not your traditional male-dominated you know, yeah. roles so we, in IT. Yeah. You have much more versatility. What's the update there? Yeah, so we have a new program that we launched um, maybe six months ago called AWS Educate. It's targeted towards schools and we're getting more involved in, in the K through 12 organization through our public sector team. So um, we've got some cool stuff, uh, training for that audience, specific training for that audience. And you'll see a lot more to come from us. And Share some time. anecdotal trends that you're seeing within the, the uh, certification training that you could share in terms of best practices, what are good paths, what are you, what are you learning from the data, What's the, uh, what, what, share some insight into that. Yeah, we're seeing um, people are investing in certification. We've got a bunch of prep resources, so they're really being consumed. We've got free uh, test exams and we've got um, uh, lab tracks so that they can practice. Once someone goes to training, they can go and take labs and practice. So I think over the last six months, we've seen tremendous traction in our certification tracks. And it's not just at the associate level, they're really going to the professional level as well. So one of the things that, um, that I've been impressed with going back years is the Khan Academy. Yeah. Uh, and the online, a lot of kids like it. But one of the things that Saul, Saul said to, to us was that people get stuck at a certain point and they have the actual data to show it that traditional learning, they'd be, well, they're a problem child, a problem person. But once they break through that struggle, they, they stay on it, they, they spin their wheels, they learn. Once they break through that area, they rapid growth yeah. and acceleration, that kind of powers past the normal growth curve. Do you guys see anything like that in your certification where the, the patterns, I bump up and I take the essentials and I get to a point, and then I'm kind of like banging my head against the wall and all of a sudden break through and then yeah, I think we saw that kind of earlier on. Right now, what I'm noticing, and I think you know, learning's changing in the industry, right? It's not all about instructor-led training. It's a, how do you get the latest and greatest information? And so we have in our labs platform and, and the uh, resources associated with particular roles or certification, we're seeing tremendous growth in that area. Um, which is great, we want people, we don't want people to have to waste their time out of the office or spend a lot of money. We want to make things accessible for them. So uh, we're going to continue to push it because we think it's a great mechanism for updating content. So I got to ask you about the announcements. What are you excited about? I mean, take your certification hat off. You can leave your Amazon hat on, but looking at Andy's keynote today, just a little announcement. What, what's, what's the sexy uh, uh, I think the product. analytics packages, it looks, it's, yeah, impressive. That's pretty you know? smoking. Yeah, it was, nice. it was really, it was nice. I mean, everybody needs their data, everybody needs to learn how to use it, and tools like that make it, it's powerful, right? It's Even easier. For my, yeah, exactly. I mean, it, it's, it's not, it should yeah. be easier. Yeah. yeah, and I'm really excited about Internet of Things. I think there's, you know, 
we've got some good uh, traction with our education programs, and I'm excited to see what happens in that space. You guys are just that sucking sound of yeah. dominance. Yeah. Internet of Things is going to be a, a big, it's big exciting. thing. It's exciting. It's exciting stuff. Great. Well, thanks for coming on the cube. Really appreciate. Yeah, appreciate Maureen Lonigan, global training manager at uh, Amazon uh, Web Services, AWS. We're live here in Las Vegas for reInvent. And watch us at the Grace Hopper Celebration of Women in Computing in Houston. Yes. We are going to be there live. Huge stage, it's our first year there. We covered it last year on the ground with handheld mics and we got, the, we were lucky to see the Satya Nutella gaffe of all time. Oh my God. So we'll see him this year, <laughs> he'll, he'll be there. Hopefully he'll come on theCUBE and talk about what he's learned in the past year about <laughs> yeah. women in computing. Yeah. Great stuff that you guys are doing. Yep. And Linda, thanks so much for coming on theCUBE, sharing yeah, your insight with us. Thank you very Thank much. You, this is theCUBE, we'll be right back after this short break. <laughs>